Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to share how to make this slim card, I guess it's called, those long card, for, with reflection. Let me show you what I was inspired by. I was at Cato Lake, took this picture, perfect reflection, I'm not sure how much you can see in this uh, camera. It was amazing. So that's what inspired me to do that. I got home and I said, I need a long card. Well, I guess that's called the slim card. I've been doing those long card for quite a long time. Graduation card that I did many of that. The first one was with Hal uh, back in 08, I think. It's perfect for money card. I will have the link of two videos, this one and the Hal one, my first one at the end of this video if you want to see. I did this a little bit different. See, this is the regular size of what's going on out there, I think, with the slim card. But what stopped me to think about this, it's, this is a regular uh, letter card. It's called, uh, it's what you pay the bills in. It's number 10 envelope. You just need a regular stamp, first class stamp in the U.S. to mail that. It's uh, like a regular card. It's a little bit smaller, so it's like moving it. So I decide to do the full size. That go perfect in this here. See? Boom. So um, that you can get that at like the regular uh, box store like Walmart. You can get them on Amazon. Again, it's the number 10. It's most of you that's if you still pay your bill by mail, not automatic, that's an envelope like that. Usually we mail check. So with this one here, I went with it's eight by nine and one quarter score at four. So my layer is going to be uh, three and three quarter by nine. All the measurement will be on my blog. Right below you get the direct link. So again, this is three and three quarter by nine. The top one that we will do our stamping on it, it is three and a half. Oh, let's three and a half by nine. Uh, eight and three quarter. Three and a half by eight and three quarter. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now let's get started. Oh, I need a scrappy paper here. Let me uh, bring a whole scrappy paper. And the first thing that I did, I stamped my trees. And you want to give enough at the top so it don't look like your trees are all shrink down, down to the sky. But then you need enough at the bottom. So let me, and I'm using Mossy Meadow to stamp my trees. Get the light right in my view here. Et voila. Oh, so you know what? We get two sides to this. Here we go. Et voila. Now I use uh, the soft suede writing my marker and I did the trunk. Um, it don't show much but it show enough to give more realistic view to the trees, okay? So I just add a little bit of my brown in the center of the tree where you see the trunk. It's not much, but, oops, enough to see uh, that brown there. Now, we're going to use Pool Party. We're going to use Balmy Blue. We're going to use Pear, uh, Old Olive. And I don't have my Old Olive out. Where is it? Here it is. Old Olive and a little bit of crumb cake. So we're going to use those colors. First thing, I'm going to do pool party at the bottom. So let me, and that it's our water, but our water, you know what, let me, the way that I cut this, I cut like the sharp edge there. Let me, here we go. So I'm just going to add my water about a one finger from the end there. 
and even with the pool oops even with the pool party for the water I will also add some balmy blue so I'm mixing those two colors for the water pool party and balmy blue now let's go with the balmy blue I think that's you know what let me get here we go so let me add the balmy blue at the top for the sky so you always want to start on your scratch paper and you're going to see I get some line there but that just adds some character for the sky so I'm not worried one thing you see the green smear a little bit I should have used my a heat tool to dry it or wait a little bit longer. Now I'm going to keep on adding some blue in the sky. This one's going to be a little bit darker but that is okay. Okay now I'm going to go lighter a little bit. Okay, so now I got my sky pretty much done. And as it's dry also, it's going to go lighter, okay? Now, let's add a bit of blue, but gentle. Here we go. What I mean by gentle, because I don't want the same color then. So I'm starting on my scrap and then add. If you get some discoloration or different tone like that, that is perfectly fine. It's just add character in the water, okay? It's, it is what it is. Here we go. Oh, I got some line there. That's okay. You get ripple in the water. Now I'm going to add a bit more of pool party. So you see I get more lines and I'm not worried at all about that. Now I'm going to use crumb cake. And I'm going to go right here. So that would be the edge of the lake or the river or whatever, like the bank there. Now I'm going to use um, pure pizzazz, uh, I mean old olive, and that's my grass. Here we go. Now let's add a little bit more darker in our brown. That's crumb cake. Et voila! It looked kind of funny. I can maybe blend just a little bit more my water. So I get a little bit more ripple in my water. So you want a little bit of difference between your top and bottom in your colors. Here we go. Now, the reflection. And we're going to go back with Mossy Meadow. And let me move a bit of space here. We're going to stamp that on our silicone mat. I want it lighter than the top. Stamp it there. And take this, put it on your scrappy paper. Voila. Now you're going to take this and you're going to reverse it so you're and you can see through. I'm going to put my reflection right there and I like to use a scrap paper. Let me bring a scrap paper here and put it at the top and then roll. The reason why I don't press my finger on the rubber sometimes it won't slide so this is more smooth voila perfect 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 now i got uh, the stamp set beautiful world i'm going to do my greeting at the bottom with balmy blue i'm going to bring that right here life's a jo beautiful journey voila now I would inside my card, I'm going to bring the trees again and put this at the bottom. Et 
voila here we go now I get it's keep on going from the front we're gonna mount that together let me remove this now and <clears throat> let me just make sure that let me add just a little bit of that pool party there Here we go. Now we're going to take this. We're going to mount that on our old olive. Bring that right here. See, we get the perfect reflection, even on the the grass or the ground and it go all the way in the water now we're going to take this and put that on our card base let me just reinforce this so this one is not a money older so it's just a regular one the money older is just a little bit longer instead of the eight I went at the nine and a half and score at four and eight and then flip inside. It's just it would be better to go this way for the money older. But voila, my friend, that is how I done my reflection. How about that? So all supplies, all measurements will be listed on my blog right below. You're going to have the direct link. You can come there, get all the measurements. Also, you can shop 24-7. At the end of this video, you will have the money older. I'm going to put two of them. This graduation, you can put other things than graduation. You can put a happy birthday, whatever you want. And I will have two of them at the end also. It will, at the end of those videos, you're going to have the link for uh, the, the post of those cards. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.